allow me to introduce you to international street artist Kelsey Montague. What is an international street artist? Oh, let me tell you. International means she is known around the world, and street artist is an artist who creates art out on the streets. Meaning, if you wanted to see works by an artist like Kelsey Montague, you just have to walk outside. This is actually a beautiful large street painting that Kelsey created in City Walk at Universal Studios Hollywood. She likes to title these large murals of wings, What Lifts You. Kelsey begins by drawing her designs out. That red thing next to her is a crane. She has to stand on it and then the crane lifts her up to the tallest parts of her street painting. She uses paint pens, lots and lots of paint pens to draw her design and then people can interact with and get their photos taken with it. I thought it would be fun to create a mural inspired by Kelsey Montague. We are each awesome and unique, so we will all contribute our own feathers to the beautiful wings of our school mural. In front of you is a big feather, just like mine. I'm going to divide my feather into smaller spaces. Right now, I have this big shape, so I'm going to use lines to divide it into smaller spaces. Line is one of the elements of art. I'm going to use other elements as well, such as shape, and yes, you might have guessed it, color, baby, color. I'm keeping my spaces kind of big, and now in each section of my feather, I'm going to add different kinds of line designs. Lines that repeat are called patterns. So in each section, I'm going to create a different type of pattern. I'm going to work on this for a moment and I'll be back. Okay, I have finished designing my feather and now it's time to add some color, baby color. I'm going to use colored pencils and when I color, I'm not pressing lightly because I want my feather to stand out when it is with all the other feathers in our school mural. So I'm going to press firmly to get a dark value, another one of the elements of art. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. Now I could change it up a little by coloring the circles with a lighter value to create what's called emphasis. I am emphasizing the darker values, making them really stand out. Now I'm not going to get lazy. I'm not just going to color my whole feather purple. I'm going to make sure to take my time, be thoughtful, and make a different color pattern in each section. So I'm going to go work on that, and I'll be back when I'm done. Yay, I'm all done! When you're finished, stay on the outside of the black line and slowly and carefully cut out your feather. The emphasis on slowly and carefully. Also friends, be sure to dispose of your trash in the recycling bin and please make sure to write your name and your teacher's name on the back of your feather. But please do it with his magical device called a pencil. Don't do it with a Sharpie because as you can see, the Sharpie will bleed through and come through the front where we will see a reverse of your name, which might ruin your design and nobody wants that. All right, friends, let's go and make our beautiful feathers to add to the What Lifts You mural.